Hi everyone, I just wanted to do a short video explaining about the main maps that we're going to be using during rendering and uh, how they apply to our game engine. So right now I'm in Marmosa Toolbag. This is going to be our rendering engine uh, and we're actually going to talk about this later on. But the point of this video is to show you how the normal map and the ambient occlusion map react when you put it on a game as and more specifically into a character so right now i have my two texture sets just like i did before and i've applied normal map and ambient occlusion to each of the texture sets so i'm going to turn them off just so you can see the difference between them and before we go into the character let's actually look at the map itself so what the normal map is is if you have ever heard of a bomb map what a bomb map is is a map that gives the instruction to the rendering engine that certain places are supposed to be rendered in a certain way either raised or depressed a bomb map it's kind of like the old school way of doing things which used to be a black and white map and that's what um, 3d artists used back in the day to give the object certain depth without having to create that geometry. The way we do it nowadays is with normal maps. The difference between bum maps and normal maps is actually the color. Bum maps are black and white and normal maps have a gradient of color just like you are seeing here. And the fact that they have a gradient of colors allows the normal map to react to the light so the surface that I'm going to have across my character is going to react to the light and the illusion of detail on the geometry is going to be a lot better than the one that was created by the bum map which was not reactive to light back in the day so that's a little bit about the normal map now here we have the ambient occlusion map what the ambient occlusion does is it goes into those uh, crevices where light is not hidden and creates a little bit of a shading around it. In real life, you always see that in every single object, that every single surface that's making contact with one another, you always see that in real life. It has a little bit of shadow where the light doesn't go. And that's, that's actually in what happens in real life. In 3D, we actually have to tell the engine what's going on because the ray tracing sometimes doesn't pick up those small crevices and if we don't have ambient occlusion uh, actually the illusion is broken you you can't see that it's a cgi and nowadays it would be a bad cgi if it doesn't have ambient occlusion because you'll see objects on top of each other and even though they're intersecting you'll see them not have uh, uh, any contact because they don't have that shadow that we see in real life. So that is the purpose of the ambient occlusion map. Now here I have my mesh and this is just the bare mesh with no maps yet no ambient occlusion and no normal maps. What you see here is, is the shadows and the details produced by the geometry that I created during retopology and the shadow that's coming from one of the lights that I have right here. And as you can see right now, the character looks like it doesn't have any detail. It's very bland, very basic. And you'll see the difference just by applying a map. So let's start with the body map. As you can see here in the head, you're seeing that there's basically no detail that defines this character. But when I activate the normal map right here, you're going to see that I get my eyebrows, that I get all my parts, all the parts of my hair, that I get the definition around the eyelids, that I get the definition around my lips, because these are details that I created in as map. So if you get to really, really close and try to see those details from one side, you're gonna see that those details are actually an illusion. So what it does is it, tell, it tells the render to create that illusion, and because it's a color map, you can see that it actually reacts to the light. You can see the lips and the eyebrows reacting to the lights that I have right here. And that is with the face. Let's activate the one for the body. So if I activate this one, you're going to see how this completely changes. So I'm, I'm going to show you one more time. 
you can see that now we have the depth and the wrinkles and folds of all the body pieces. The same thing over here. Whoops, that was the wrong button. Right here on the belt, you can see the difference between having all that detail and not having it. You can see that our character really comes to life just by having those details. And the reason why this exists is because when we are rendering in real time, uh, we have a limited amount of processing that we can do in regards to polygons. So we need to try to keep our character within a specific budget, and then we can use the normal maps to add those extra detail and make our character look much better. This is actually a very good angle, and you're going to see the lots of differences here with it, with and without the normal map. So if I go into the body, you can see that difference right there. Okay, that's just a normal map. If I would go to the ambient occlusion, let's talk about the ambient occlusion a little bit. So right here, I have my ambient occlusion down. And if I turn it on, you're going to see on the face what's going on. You're going to see that there's a little bit of shading. Actually, you can, on this program, you can change the amount of ambient occlusion there is. But the goal of this in particular is to give those crevices a little bit more depth and you can see how ca our character looks a little bit more interesting just by adding that simple ambient occlusion map so it creates uh, those uh, shadowy places that usually the ray tracing light would not be able to get to all right so that is basically what the ambient occlusion does and same thing with the clothes let me show you the one with the clothes you can see that there's a lot of difference, especially here on the stitches. This is very particular. The ambient occlusion helps a lot when we have very small details like over here and over here. You can see a difference when I turn it on and off. And it really brings out those details right there. Look at the armor right here. And it helps a lot to uh, make our character, even though it doesn't have any color, it really brings our character to life.